Excuse me, would you happen to know the way to Hazel Wilde's farm? Tara? Oh my goodness, it really is you, isn't it? Lena? I haven't seen you since I was tiny. It's good to see you again. I heard you were coming to stay with your grandma, Hazel. Now, do you remember the way? <laughs> uh, no. I don't remember much from that time. No problem. Go up the stairs behind me and turn left at the top. Then just follow your nose till you get to Hazel's house. Go up the stairs behind you, then turn left and follow the path. Got it. Hey, bro. Hey, but, uh, I I'm not a bro. Uh, it's like uh, a pop-up shop. I only sell the most killer stuff I find off-island. Take a look, but, like I say, if you fall in love with something, better get it now. The merchandise is just whatever feels right in the moment, you know? Okay. Welcome to the island. I am Messenger Cameron Connor. Hey! As one newcomer to another, please, let me know if there's anything I could do to help. Well, actually... I think I've gotten a bit turned around. Do you know the way to my Grandma Hazel's house? Yes, it's just outside of town. Turn around and keep walking past the town hall, and keep on past the old bell, and you'll see a dirt track. If you follow that dirt path, you will reach Hazel's house. <laughs> yes, it's Turner. If you. F I'm sorry, whoever you are. My open hours are 9 to 5 on weekdays at the town hall. You can speak to me there. Yes, I am that Angus. Excuse me? Oh, I could tell you were wondering if you recognized me. I am indeed the Angus who was on an episode of Baking Battles. <laughs> Always nice to meet a fan. Oh, yes, I thought that was you. What with this being a, a bakery and all. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's obvious. My little claim to fame. I'm Tara. Oh, the new girl. I'm Francis. Ashante. Oh, you speak French? Well, no. I speak Spanish, though. Bienvenidos to our little seaside pueblo. Gracias. I think I've gotten a bit turned around. You're nearly there. It's just down that third path, opposite the giant bell. Hi, I'm Hazel Wilde's granddaughter, Tara. Oh, Hazel was so kind to me when I first moved here. Used to let me cut through a property to get to the old mine. Of course, that was before the supports in the entrance gave out. There's still good ore down there, I suspect. Ore? Oh, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Natalia, and I own the blacksmith. I can melt down ore into ingots and upgrade any of your farm tools for you.
blasted, rusty old crank. <laughs> I ought to blast you. <laughs> Not a bad idea, actually. My charm will bind, turn, and unwind. Ha 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 ha! Look at it go! Uh... Grandma? <gasps> oh, it's you! Oh, my little honeybee! <laughs> I'm not so little anymore, Grandma. No, I suppose not. I'm so glad you've come. Me too. How can I help out around here? I don't know much about farming, but maybe you can show me the ropes. Uh, well, uh, oh, now that you mention it, uh, I haven't got the spring crop of potatoes in yet. Let me help, Grandma. Why don't you give me those seeds and I can get them planted? That would be a good start. Here's the seeds. Just head over to one of the garden beds there and and scatter them about. You're a natural. Now you'll need to water them if you want them to grow. You can fill it up at this old well. There now, that should do it. They'll take a few days to grow, but it's a start. Oh, and I was thinking about cooking up some mushrooms. How would you like mushroom soup for dinner? Mm. Is it the same one you used to make when I was little? Because if it is, yes, please. <laughs> Lovely. You'll find plenty of mushrooms good for eating if you head up that mountain path a little. Wait, we have to pick the mushrooms ourselves? <laughs> no, this isn't the city, honeybee. Besides, freshly picked mushrooms taste better. Yeah, if they're not- You'll do just fine. <laughs> I'll do my best. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, if you wanted to get some new seeds in town, it might be a good time to stop by and see the mayor. Introduce yourself. He's at Town Hall. A big building in the center of town with a flag above the door. You can't miss it. I'll take good care of you and this farm, Grandma. I'm just so glad you're here, my sweet little honeybee. All right, here I am, farming. This place has changed so much. It'll take a lot of work to get back to how I remember. I don't know if city life has prepared me for this, but I'm ready to give it my best. I better... I see you found the barn. This is it? I went looking for it, but I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Remember the time I milked Bessie and she kicked over the milk bucket? I hid in the barn because I thought you would be mad. <laughs> no use crying over spilled milk or a barn that got blown down in a storm, I suppose. I had to give up keeping cattle. So does that mean this is... Yeah, the chicken coop. 
Well, after Merlin passed, I didn't have a dog to guard the chickens, and they kept getting picked off. I chopped up the coop for firewood. Oh, that's a shame. Do you think we could restore them? I'm sure we could, but after that old ranch closed up, the nearest place to get more animals is miles away. If Mayor Otto would bestir himself to do something about that, then fixing up these buildings would be light work for Parker. this mine it looked way less run down when i was seven but so did everything around here it's a collapsed mine shaft is the time when the earth reawakens. You can forage for the gifts the land offers up if you know where to look. Have you found any mushrooms? Will these work? Those are nice plump ones. You're a natural forager. When I was out searching, I came across that old mine. You used to tell me that there were goblins inside, remember? <laughs> I told you that, did I? <laughs> it was a, a smart way of keeping a curious little girl out of danger. The wood in the support rotted clean through. Shame. I'm sure there's still perfectly good iron and copper down there. Come back tomorrow and I'll have the mushroom stew prepared. I'm a bit tired just now. You know, I don't think I've been in here since your grandpa died. Sorry, I was just looking around like you said. I didn't mean to pry. No, no, it's fine. I just wasn't as good with my hands as he was. He gave most of his tools to Thomas, since I knew he'd put them to good use. You know, if we want to get this place up and running, though, we'll need to put in the work here, too. We always made a whole lot more money from his crafts than just the farm produce alone. If you ever want to try your hand at it, I kept the blueprints to all his tools right here. Thanks, Grandma. Not sure if I'm a handy Tara, but I'll try for us.
Oh, hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I am Mayor Otto Soft, and you must be the new voter. I mean, neighbor. Uh, hi. Uh, yes, that's, that's me. If there is anything you need, I'm the one to speak to. We're a friendly town here at Fairhaven. We want to make sure you're settled in well. To that end, we want you to meet everyone, so we've made it a little game. The fine Fairhaven folk will let me know after they've met you. That way, I can give you a prize after you've met everyone. It's really quite clever and progressive. <laughs> Plus a little bit creepy. <laughs> You're funny. Anyway, come and see me after you've met everyone. Welcome. I am Vanessa Soft, First Lady of Fairhaven. Pleasure to meet you. How is your grandmother doing? She's... well... To be honest, she's not doing too well. That's why I'm here. It's wonderful that you came to help her out. Do let me know if there is any way I can help. Oh hey, you're new here! I'm Sebastian. Who are you? I'm Tara. I just moved here to help out my grandma Hazel. Do you know her? Oh yeah! Hazel's cool. Like, for a grown-up. Uh, I'll see you around. I'm Tara. I just moved to town. Ah, you must be Hazel's granddaughter. It sure is great to meet you. I'm Parker, Lena's husband. She asked me to stop by your farm in a day or two and show you around. You'll want to know where Lena's general store is. It's hard to run a farm without it. I'll be by before you know it to point it out to you. Hello. You're a stranger. <laughs> yes, I... I just moved here. I'm Tara. What's your name? Emmy. Well, now we're not strangers anymore, are we? Hello. Are you my mom's new friend? Depends. Who's your mom? Lena. Then yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Tara. Nice to meet you too. I'm Finn. Such a good cat. Oh. Hmm. There's a plaque that reads This beloved tree be old as the town itself.
Time for bed. <laughs>
Lena brought us some extra milk while you were out, so I made us a delicious mushroom soup sure to warm our bellies. And you're, you're sure it had the right number of, uh, gills or whatever? We're not going to start seeing things or frothing at the mouth? Oh no, if I gave you something that made you see things, it'd be on purpose. Uh, Grandma! <laughs> Just kidding, honeybee. Now, I have another chore for you that would be a great help if you don't mind. Of course, Grandma. What is it? Some wood for the fire would be nice. Nights are still cold in the spring around here. Could you go and find a couple of the big old logs lying around the farm, chop them up for me, and bring me the wood? Sure thing, Grandma. Uh, you'll need this to get started. <laughs> Don't forget to water those potatoes every day. It's me, Parker again. I stopped by just like I promised. How are you settling in? I'm getting there. I hear you. I moved here from the city myself ten years ago. Oh. How long did it take you to feel comfortable here? I'll let you know. Lena's busy right now, so I wanted to show you the way to the general store. It's really important for anyone running a farm because she can buy all your produce and sell you new seeds. It'll be hard to make ends meet if you can't sell your goods. I'm heading there now if you want to tag along. Yes, that would be fantastic. I get turned around in town sometimes. Great. Follow me. What do you think of- I'm not sure yet. I thought I'd remember more of it than I do. trouble with being a carpenter is, when I walk around, all I see is work. A loose board here, a broken bridge there. It never ends. There you are, and you brought Tara. Wonderful. Tara, I can't wait to buy your fresh crops. And if you need seeds, I can sell you whatever's in season. Oh, Parker, we need to talk about the kids. They were giggling over breakfast, so I searched Finn's backpack and found a whoopee cushion in there. Again. <laughs> I, I mean, that's, that's terrible. Uh, see? That's the problem right there. You think it's funny, and I have to be mommy cop. No, I'm taking this seriously, really. Okay, whatever. You can be the one to go to the next parent-teacher conference. I'm tired of getting stared down by Vanessa. How's it going? I'm Damon. You're Hazel's granddaughter, yeah? 
How did you guess? You got the same eyes. They say, I'm beautiful, but I don't suffer fools. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I run the bar. Stop by for good vibes and a sympathetic ear any old time. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. Oh, hey, Bruno. Damon, I want to settle up for last night. Sorry I didn't have it on me at the time. <laughs> That's all right. I knew you were good for it, but, uh, <laughs> thanks. Fish just haven't been biting lately, but I got Otto to float me for a week. I wish you hadn't told me that. Your son already has it out for me, Bruno. That's not so. He's just a teetotaler is all. And who's your new friend here? Guten Tag. You're Hazel's granddaughter, aren't you? Yes. Are you German? And also psychic? <laughs> I'm Bruno. Don't actually speak much of my native tongue, but I try to keep up some traditions. And you're just a picture of your grandma when she was a girl. I am? Yeah! She was a real spitfire back then, too. Hasn't changed much. I see you met Damon. Tara, watch out for this boy. He's trouble. Hey, I'm trying to make a good first impression here. Do you mind? I'm all out of strength. I could eat some the I could eat some food. could make or buy some food. <sighs> I could make
Oh, that wood looks nice and dry and ready to burn. Great. Thank you for doing that for me. It was no trouble. Phew. It was hard work, though. Oh, look at you. You're plum tuckered out. What do they teach young girls in the city these days, anyway? If you work too hard and don't keep an eye on your energy, you're likely to pass out. But there's an easy solution. Good old-fashioned country cooking. Here's another serving of the soup I made earlier. It'll fix you right up. I better not... I... B See, a bit of food is all you need when your energy is low, and then you're right as rain. For a while, you still... But Grandma, you're the one who should be resting. I don't want you troubling yourself to cook for me. Ah, is that your way of trying to get my recipe book? Did Sophia put you up to it? She's always trying to get a peek at my recipes, but you can tell her they stay in the family. I hide my recipe book in the stove. She never thinks to look in there. <laughs> Go on. Try one. Okay. Well, which one is your favorite? I am quite partial to mushroom risotto. You've got to be Tara! Hazel's been hyping you up for weeks now. Well, now I'm embarrassed. Don't be. It's sweet. I wish I had a grandma here to talk about how great I am. <laughs> anyway, I'm Violet. Pleased to meet you, Violet. We don't get too many new faces around here in Fairhaven, so let me know if you ever want to hang out. So you came here to take care of your grandma? That's really nice. You sound disappointed. It's just that it's less fun to prank people who are really nice. I could try being less nice. Thanks, but that's okay. Emmy and I already have lots of people to prank. 
Hazel is a dope old lady. You're lucky having a grandma like that. What? Not a big fan of your own grandparents? Um, my mom's parents died when I was little. And my dad's parents can't visit much because of visa problems. Oh. I'm sorry for bringing it up. No, nah, it's, it's cool. Hazel's the communal grandma. My mom said I should make an effort to make you feel welcome in town or whatever. So, um, hi, I guess. <laughs> I'm Juliet. Hey, Juliet. It's nice to meet you. Okay, bye. Good to see you again. Hi! Have you seen the notice board in front of Town Hall? There are always lots of ways to help out in the community. Oh, yes, I saw it. Wonderful! I'm sure your neighbors will appreciate you lending a hand whenever you can. You're a recent arrival, right? Did Otto have you play that meet everyone game? <laughs> he sure did. But I found it a good opportunity to introduce myself and the League's mission to the town. Before I knew it, I had four new members. This beautiful creature I see. I, uh, what? Uh, I'm Tara, Hazel's granddaughter. <laughs> Hazel told me her granddaughter was coming to town, but didn't mention that she was so lovely. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm Amira, the doctor here in Fairhaven. I've been taking care of your grandmother. Oh, wow. Thank you. I came as soon as I heard she was sick. <sighs> She's lucky to have such a caring family. Well, I mean, to be honest, we kind of fell out of touch for a while. I'm trying to make up for lost time. We can't regain lost time. But you're here for her now. That is enough. Welcome to Cafe Moretti. What can I get you today? Oh, I'm new here. I just came by to say hello. It does smell great in here, though. <gasps> Wait. You're Hazel's granddaughter. Welcome. Uh, I hope you come back soon. Moving always works up an appetite. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Sophia. Hey, Sophia. I'm Tara. It's nice to meet you.
Hi, I'm Kim. Hey, Kim. I'm Tara. I just moved here from the city. Oh. So what sent you screaming from the city? Dead end job? Sociopaths on dating apps? Both, to be honest. Everything in my life kind of fell apart all at once. Ah, the city is truly a buffet of hot garbage, isn't it? <laughs> I know that shouldn't make me hungry, but it does. This is the butcher. We only sell humanely treated animal products. Right now, I have to source the meat from off-island, but we'll hopefully get a new rancher to move here soon. Cool. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Tara. I just moved to town. You look just like I pictured. I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh, being Hazel's granddaughter, I mean. Oh, and you are? Been many things, but if it's a name you're looking for, folks here call me Shelby. Deceive Hi, Kitty. Listen to that purr! I think I have everything we need. Now, I've written down the recipe here. Head on over to the stove. Give it a try. Here you go, Grandma. Here's your mushroom risotto. Oh, thank you, honeybee. It smells wonderful. 
But you made enough for yourself, I hope. I could eat some food to recover some...
Are your allergies acting up? Oh, no, it's all the dust in the front room. But sweeping makes my back ache, so I've turned a blind eye for no months now. But that's exactly what I'm here to help with, Grandma. Then would you mind showing those dust bunnies the front door? There's a broom in my room you can use. You wait out here. Those dust bunnies have no idea what's coming for them. I'll have to move this rug to make real headway. Whoa! Is that an actual trapdoor? Jeez, Grandma, what are you keeping down there? So, the trapdoor under the rug... Hmm? What is it for? Preserves and pickles? Or old machinery? It's not important, honeybee. Will you be out and about tonight? Probably, but I... Could you fetch me some moonflower? It only blooms after sunset. You'll know it by the white blossoms. See, my moonflower tea blend makes me feel so healthy. I get a blush on these old cheeks. Go right past Parker's workshop into the woods and you'll find what you need. I feel like I'm getting redirected here. I, at my age, it's awfully hard to hear certain things. Did you put the rug back in place? Yes, Grandma, but... Uh, but are you brewing moonshine down there? You can tell me if you're brewing moonshine. Mm, I can already taste that tea. That was normal. I could. I'm Tara, Hazel Wild's granddaughter. Nice to meet you. No, I remember you. You used to run past my farm on the way to the beach when you were little. Yes! And Grandma always told me to mind that I didn't trample your crops. You're Thomas, right? Yep. Gosh, your farm has the most stunning view on the whole island. I'm not selling. I, I didn't mean... Your grandma needs help on her farm. But it's not as easy as just moving here and picking up a pitchfork. I know. I'm here to learn. For Hazel's sake, I hope you learn quick. Look 
have this old ru Hey, have you tried Kim's Butcher Shop yet? There was nowhere on the island to get good bacon until they came along. Now Kai and I can have ourselves a breakfast with the works on the weekends. How's the farm? Are you inundated with chores yet? There's not that much to do, honestly. The farm seems so much smaller now that I'm an adult. Hmm. When I first came here, I didn't think I'd have much work either. But living things, plants and people, are always growing, changing, becoming run down. And caring for them takes a lot of time. Wonderful! The last citizen has let me know that you've been introduced. As promised, here is your reward for playing our little game. We hope it helped you acclimatize. Uh, thanks! Uh, money's great too, though. Do you ask every new resident to play the meet everyone game? Oh, yes! After all, that idea won me third place in the Icebreaker Innovation category at the annual mayoral convention. Congratulations? Oh, hush. It's hardly worth mentioning. I'm all out of strength. I could eat some food. or buy I know what you must be thinking. Why does old Shelby live in the woods? Oh, well, it's, it's really pretty and it, it's quiet. Don't patronize me, Missy. Truth is, there are riches here the untrained eye can't see. You bring me forageables and I'll pay you fairly for your troubles. I don't mind helping you out. You don't have to pay me. <laughs> I'm a hermit, not a pauper. Don't need charity from no one. My bones may be getting old, but my mind's as sharp as a... Mm, is, I... Yeah, sharp as a... Attack? Don't interrupt. Young folks these days. No respect for their elders.
Oh, I meant to ask you, have you met Parker the carpenter yet? He really helped turn the ruins of the old church into a wonderful new consciousness center for our members.
I could make or buy some food. Your grandma was always good luck on a boat back in the day. She had a heron's eye for spotting fish. But how can you see fish if they're underwater? <laughs> she hasn't taught you much, has she? Uh, um, potatoes? Here, take this rod. Keep your eyes peeled whenever you're near water for the shadows of swimming fish. When you see them near the surface like that, you know they're feeding. The trick is to get one of them to nibble on your hook instead of the bait fish they're chasing. How do I do that? You'll need some bait. Here are some worms. Hey, you're not the squeamish type, are you? You gotta hook your bait and cast your line. You'll feel when you got one, and then you reel it in. Uh, wait, 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 back up. How do I cast my line? You'll get the hang of it. The lake in the forest is... Uh, but take care, you hear? Don't go in those woods after sunset. I've seen things... well... You wouldn't believe me. My boy Otto didn't need that till he saw it for himself. Just stay safe and come back and see me after you've given it a few tries. Please, Tara, are you sure? Ha, I didn't think anyone would actually find this for me. Ah, oh, 
Just who I was hoping to see. Who? Me? Here, take this to Hazel. Oh, I couldn't. <laughs> Nonsense. Take it. Your grandma and I have a friendly pie rivalry of sorts. This is my answer to her last move. A devastatingly perfect key lime tart. I bake with love, but I also bake to win. Okay. I'll make sure she gets it. Let me know how she likes it. It's so, like, cool of you to come hang with Hazel. When I first took over my stall from the last owner, Hazel came and bought chocolate every day. Turns out she doesn't even like chocolate. She just figured if other people saw her giving me business, they would too. Well, I do like chocolate, so you will be seeing a lot of me too. Sweet. I'm all out of strength. I... So my mom says your grandma's sick, and that's why you came here. Yeah, I came back to take care of her. That's nice. I visited my Nona in Italy when she got sick, too. Well, technically, she was my dad's Nona. I'm sure she was really happy to see you. I don't really know. I don't speak Italian, so I didn't know what anybody said. At least you and Hazel speak the same language. That's a good point. Bush.
I'll need to come back tonight to harvest. I'll need to come back to- Uh, he hello? Who's there? I probably shouldn't spy on strange people creepily creeping through the woods at night. Come along, Elder Hazel. Don't rush me, I'm coming. Grandma? Uh, where did she go? She shouldn't be out here at night. Elder Hazel, this is the third time you've come to the circle without your robe and mask. This is an unacceptable risk. Bah! It's time for us to come out of hiding. The town won't be afraid of witches if they know that we're their neighbors. People seem nice until the day comes when they need a scapegoat for their troubles. Then people become mobs. Well, I didn't bring Terra here so she could skulk around like she's doing something wrong just by being who she is. So you think your intuition was right then? She has the gift? When will she be ready to join us? Join them? You hear something? Uh-oh.
ready for bed. Grandma, so, uh, can we talk about the fact that I saw you with some people in masks and robes in the woods last night? It would be nice to talk after I've had some tea. Grandma. Oh, yes, some tea would really hit the spot. Grandma, I've been, um, I've been thinking about my childhood memories of your garden. Just bursting with veggies in every color. <laughs> I think we could bring it back to the way it was. Are you sure? That's quite a bit of work. What would we need? <laughs> well, for it to be enough to feed us and turn a profit, you'd need to build a bunch more garden beds. That means keeping a compost bin so you can get a whole lot of good soil to fill them. And you'll need to chop some wood to make the beds. Okay. I'm on it. Great job. Now we just need to fill it with weeds and let it work its magic. Then we can start making garden beds.
Hey, are you settling in okay? I'm still figuring out my way around and meeting everyone. Well, take your time. A new town can be overwhelming. And some of the folks here are a little... more overwhelming than others. <laughs> Juliet told me you said hello to her. Thank you. That girl is so shy. Well, teenagers have a lot going through their heads. It's no wonder some of them deal by just not talking. Mm. Her father passing so unexpectedly hasn't helped. It's cool that you're helping Hazel with the farm. Are you uh, planning to take it over one day? I still don't even know if I can make a single seed sprout. <laughs> Give it time. When my pa ran the bar, I used to make a mess every time I tried to help out. And look at me now. I don't have any bait.
farming, but I don't know much about farming at all. Yep. Like I said, not so easy. Hazel's got some of the best soil on the island. Shame for it to go to waste. Look, city girl. Just water your plants and you'll do fine. Tell me, honeybee, does Arthur mind that you left your job in the city to come help me? Well, I didn't really leave my job. My job left me. Our site got acquired, but the new parent company just wanted our subscriber list, not our editors. Maybe Dad wishes I was using my degree in a new job in the city. But then who would help you here? He's not going to come do farm work. <laughs> That's for certain. Your father has the blackest thumb I've ever known. Even when he was a boy. Oh, we were sad when he left. But the garden sure wasn't. Thank 
Oh, my. Oh, you make a very potent brew. Here's that key to the basements that you asked about. But the hooded strangers? Go on down, my dear. It will all make sense, I promise. Okay, I definitely have more questions than answers now, uh... Is that a cauldron? Not just any cauldron, your cauldron. What? Oh, no, I'm not a... Witch? Oh, my dear, yes you are. No layperson could make a brew like that on her first try. I feel as spry as I did 50 years ago. This basement is your sanctum. You have your cauldron, of course. Wait, wait. is Dad a witch? Or, 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 or warlock? Or... Arthur? Oh, no. Oh, no, honeybee. He's more... conventional, I'm afraid. But I saw that spark of magic in your eyes the first time I held you. I've always known you would be an extraordinary witch. But the coven needs proof before they'll accept you. Coven? Well, those folks in the woods, of course. They put a charm on the bramble wall, so you'll need a wand to open it. This is, uh, kind of a lot to learn all at once. I understand, honeybee. When you're ready, read this incantation before the special silver willow in the woods. Then you'll have a branch to make your first wand. says this is my cauldron. Hey there, new girl. Pass a message to Hazel for me? As long as it's appropriate. Tell her that during my last shift, I didn't break a single glass. What? It's been a goal for a long time. This 
This is the homiest diner I have ever been in. Do you run it all by yourself? Oh, I've always been the only owner. Though my husband Giacomo used to help me. He passed two years ago. Pancreatic cancer. Oh, Sophia, I, I didn't know. Hazel was so sweet to me. She knew what it felt like on account of your Nano's passing. So, you moved here to help out on Hazel's farm? Do you know anything about farming? Not even a little bit. Oh, don't sweat it. I'd only worked in my parents' kitchen before opening my own butcher. I mean, you've at least had a garden or potted plants before, right? Not really. Oh. W well, good luck. Inscription says, If I be worthy, ancient tree, give a silver branch to me. Please? Wow! I, I mean, uh, uh, thanks, magic tree. Messenger Connor told me you said hello. I'm so pleased you two spoke. The building he transformed into the Consciousness Center was a real eyesore. And look at it now. He's a shining example of how to change a community for the better.
Is your wand ready? Yes. Look, careful where you point that thing. Oh my, you have a lot to learn. It's time for you to meet the coven. Are you ready to go? Sure. Let's go. Okay. The brambles only allow friends of the coven through, so this incantation helps it to identify you once it meets you. It'll know you're a friend and let you through from now on. Say the spell when you're ready. A friend of the coven comes to you. Unravel your brambles and let me through. Well done. Now, let's head on up. <sighs> Grandma, what is this place? Who are these people? Shh, shh, shh. You've got to be properly introduced. Who approaches the sacred circle? I bring one who wishes to know the mysteries of this coven. Um, hi. Welcome, Initiate. Elder Hazel has told us so much about you. I am the High Priestess of this coven. Before you can join us, you must vow to never reveal the location of our circle or the details of our rights to any others. Do you promise to abide by our covenants? Sure. Um, I promise. I'm so excited that I'm a witch. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, uh, about that, honeybee. You're not a witch. Not yet. First, you must cast the initiation rite. Oh, okay. Um, but how do I, how do I do that? Speak to the Farseer over yonder. He will explain the art of incantations. 